Hello everybody, I'm Father Tom Weisbecker, pastor of St. James Parish here in Omaha. I welcome you to our bi-weekly update. I hope everyone's keeping safe in, this, in these difficult times. You know, this, please invite you to continue to practice safe distancing, social distancing. Please wear your face mask when you're in a public indoor space, such as a church, coming into church, when you know, six feet of separation cannot from others cannot be achieved at all times. Um, in the church, it's, it's, uh, there, there's a six feet um, separation between the pews, so uh, you, it's not required you be here once you get to your pew. The priests, deacons, and Eucharistic ministers uh, will be, continue wearing masks for distribution of Holy Communion. Let's do our best to keep each other safe in these difficult times. We're continuing our St. James Parish Annual Stewardship Renewal. Father Zach and I have been speaking on opening the doors of worship, spiritual growth, and growth. And last weekend we spoke on the door of service. This coming weekend, our deacons will speak on the opening of the door of treasure. We will send out renewal packets in a few days and everyone should be getting those by early next week. We will have our actual commitment weekend, September 19th and 20th. And commitments can also be made online. So we invite everyone to pray over your response. And again, to, to thank you for your openness and generosity. And you know, it's something for us to ask the Lord to help us continue to grow in our stewardship. Speaking of stewardship, the Archbishop's annual appeal will start later in September with mailings arriving the week of September 14th. This may cause a little confusion because that is, you know, it kind of overlaps into our annual renewal. But uh, we'll the, the, uh, delay the actual sign up for the Archdiocese uh, till the end of early, early October. Just uh, the Archbishop has been very generous to our parish and to all the parishes. And he has actually forgiven our uh, monthly Archdiocesan bill two times over the last few months because of the COVID-19. He's also cut his staff and his budget dramatically to help out. So what we can do is respond and, and help us help him uh, guide as he guides our archdiocese into the arch into the future. St. James Seton School is moving forward as the school year progresses. Things have been going fairly smoothly in the school, thank goodness, knock on wood. It's certainly a different year. God bless our teachers who are doing amazing things under these circumstances. The teaching this way can be very stressful, pray for them. Let's keep our students, teachers, staff, and administrators in our prayers so that they can continue smoothly into the future. Speaking of school, PRE regular classes start Wednesday this week, September 2nd. Next Wednesday, the 9th, there will be a confirmation meeting for students in seventh and eighth grade with their parents, uh, who are uh, seventh, eighth grade PRE or homeschooled with their parents to be held here in the church to help them prepare for the sacrament of reconciliation, the sacrament of confirmations, excuse me. The week after that, on Wednesday the 16th, all those who are doing their PRE studies at home this year are invited to come after 6.15 in the evening to pick up their materials in the school library. So again, that's Wednesday, the, uh, the two weeks. The Rite of Christian Initiation of Adults, RCI, has started. Uh, now, there's been a change. We were talking about doing that on Thursday, but because of the, the folks who were able to come, it's a small group this year. We decided to change it to Sunday. So the, uh, the Sunday nights are from six to eight. So it's a totally different day, different time, six to eight p.m. And if you, we still have room for somebody else who would join us. Um, there's, there's, uh, we will not have a session this week because of Labor Day, but uh, the, the weeks after that, we will be meeting Sunday from six to eight p.m. Uh, as I mentioned, next Monday is Labor Day, so it's a holiday, so our parish holiday schedule will go into effect. That means that we will only have one Mass on the Monday, the Labor Day, at 9 a.m. It also means that our Eucharistic Adoration will not begin as normal on Sunday evening, but will start Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. so that everyone can relax and enjoy the holiday. If you're doing travel, you don't have to worry about covering your hour until Tuesday morning. We're still looking for new Eucharistic ministers and lectors for Sunday Masses. Since we didn't get our stewardship renewal material out this spring, 
we're asking that anyone who is interested in signing up for these ministries to sign up to call the parish office. The deadline is September 11th, so just uh, a week from this Friday. If you haven't noticed, we have a new website. It's been completely redesigned and there's all, it's a much deeper and better. And so I invite you to go to stjamescatholicchurch.org and visit it. Uh, it's well, very well done and have some fun exploring it. We have continued handing out our missalettes for uh, Sunday masses, at Sunday masses. Since we can't have them in the pews, uh, we invite parishioners to, who want a missalette to pick one up at mass and then uh, take it home and bring it back week by week. I mean, they're, they're already halfway done. It doesn't do us any good to have them in the closet. So uh, we do want to have people be happy to come to mass and use the missalettes. We've been cleaning out, to, speaking of that, we've been cleaning out the storage room in our rectory and have come across some of our latest parish picture directories from 2018. We invite those who don't have one, who would like one, to stop by the rectory and pick one up. I've been a little delayed in uh, talking about the Catholic Daughters have begun a face mask ministry. They are making free reusable masks for your use out of cloth with our patronal symbol, the the uh, seashells. Anyone who wants one, feel free to contact the Catholic Daughter Court at their website or the phone number is listed in the bulletin. A personal note, uh, I will be going on vacation starting next week and coming back on the 26th. So uh, keep me in prayers, I'll keep you in prayers and I hope everything goes smoothly while I'm gone. We still have plenty of room for people to come back to weekend masses. So we'd be happy to add more chairs in the back or go into the parish center. Um, even if uh, you're not required to come to mass, worshiping God in this profound way and um, receiving Holy Communion is worth the time and effort to come. Great graces are yours. Please come join us. Just a couple of reminders too. We're still hearing confessions every Saturday afternoon from three to 4.30 and we're selling hope certificates after every weekend mass nowadays. I'd like to again, thank all of you who have been so generous with your Sunday contributions. Uh, may you be blessed for helping us out in these difficult times and you know, God will not be outdone in generosity. To conclude, let's keep our, in our prayers those so that this uh, COVID-19 pandemic will end soon and that those who are sick will get better and we'll all be protected from it. And, we, and may Jesus, Mary and St. Joseph be with us and protect us in these difficult times. Let's keep praying and spending some precious time in front of the Blessed Sacrament. That's how we can win this battle. Let's, let's not give up and we just trust the good Lord and his, his graces can cover everything. And thanks again for tuning in today and, and for joining us. And I uh, just wish everyone to have a great week and may Almighty God bless all of you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.